So now instead of looking at the squares, we're going to look at a continued fraction for 83 over 71. And we're going to see if we see any connection with the Euclidean algorithm. So 83 over 71 equals 1 plus how much over 71? 12 plus 71. Okay. And what would be the next thing I would do with my continued fraction to extend it? It would be plus... So... It would be 71 plus something in the over. Well, what's the rule? What's the continued fraction rule? What's the process you follow? You split, flip, and wrap. Okay, so I split it. I split off the integer part. You and can now, flip it up. Okay, so what, what, so what is this? What happens now? 71 over 12. Okay, so I do 1 over. 71 over 12. Okay. Alright, and what happens to 71 over 12? So, you have to rationalize it. Which, it's already rational. It's already rational. So you split it. Okay, and what does this split into? Um, f five, so you have five plus 11 over 12. Okay. So one, five plus one over 12 elevenths. Uh, that becomes 1 plus 1 over 11 over 1. Okay. And 1, over, 1 over 11, and then you're done. And then you're done. So I get this 1, 5, 1, 11. Have you seen that before? Yep. There are Okay, so what's the connection between the Euclidean algorithm and the continued fraction for the number? Well, you're doing a, you're doing the same technique. You're putting as many as many chunks of something as you can into another thing. You're, you're dividing it, okay. and then you're left with the remainder. And then you do the do, do the same thing. Where were we flipping over here? Because remember, for the continued fraction, we split it, then we flipped it. Where do you think was happening? Where do you think that flipping was going on up here? Well, maybe it's this number here becoming the new number that you divide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So these, so we have the Euclidean algorithm. Yep. These kind of square spirals and the continued fraction all seem to be related to each other. Yep. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Did you know those were the same things? No. Nope. Before? Yeah, so it's neat. It's a, it's a fascinating connection between the, uh, between these three seemingly very different things. Uh, now the interesting thing is whenever you make a fraction, you're going to reduce it to lowest terms. So if I had, if, if I had instead was trying to do the an algorithm of 25 over 15, I would, I would find that the, a 5. They both are divisible by 5. Yep. But this would be the same when we did the continued fraction. This would be for the continued fraction for 5 thirds. Mm -hmm. So the, the Euclidean algorithm is only connected with the continued fractions when they're in lowest terms. That's right. one, one thing we have to be careful about. But it's interesting that these are, th these are all connected together in kind of all different versions of the same thing. Yep. All right. Hey, good work, hon.